GAM. I mean, GAM lost 20% in the last two days. What happens to this fund now? Well, this is what we'll have to see, the re potential repercussions beyond this fund, which at the moment seems to be, or these funds rather, managed by this, this manager. At the moment, it seems that the, you know, the concerns are contained. Uh, but, of course, we still have to know really what happened in terms of, you know, what were these risk management procedures that weren't followed. Uh, the company has said clearly that, no honesty is under question here by the manager, but you know it's early days. We don't have the details, and we'll have to see, you know, how these funds, um, you know, are you know re returned to investors. What kind of hit investors have to take the underlying assets that the funds are sitting on? I mean, these are difficult questions because I guess every case is very different. But in the you know from previous cases, what do we know about outflows? Are you know are our clients going to be rushing to actually get their money out? I think we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I think if you look back in time, so the last time we saw anything similar in Europe would have been when the property funds suffered, you know, similar uh, withdrawal requests in the aftermath of Brexit, and you know, back then there were concerns that it would have spillover effects, and I think they were, you know, very much contained. Um, so you'll ha we'll have to see. Elise, I, I think you need to do a public service here. I think throughout all the media, and no fault of the media, there's a confusion over what GAM is. They're not a traditional asset management company. And am I right, they're not a pure play hedge fund? What exactly are they? Well, they're multi-strategy fund, you know, they've been growing by you know, acquisitions a little bit. And in fact, one of these acquisitions very recently led them to take a charge. Um, and they're now saying that the volatility that they're seeing in the markets uh, is pointing some clients to withdraw funds. And again, we have to learn a little bit more about what that means. I agree totally. I mean, we, the, the lack of transparency here, folks, and particularly for our US audience, is absolutely remarkable. Within these funds, like an unconstrained absolute return fund, whatever that marketing phrase means, do you know as a reporter what's in those funds? We know a little bit, but for example, we understand that recently the you know some of the, the investments have gone into trade finance, for example. So again, we have to get a little bit more clarity as to what these assets are, how liquid or illiquid they might be.